Hello everyone. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. This morning we've got something special. First of all, it's special that I'm even on here when it's not dark out because all my videos lately have just been around 8 o'clock, around when it's getting dark because it's when I'll get home and you really can't see much. Um, so I wanted to show you guys in the daytime. I got a couple of special um, special plants here. It's a Eugenia. Um, I think it's a Eugenia Paulista. And I wanted to show how... See, I got a couple of them. See how big this thing is? I can't get it in the picture, but it's this big. Look at the trunk on it. The trunk is massive. It's bone dry and it was just yard watered yesterday, okay? If you're noticing that your plants are bone dry and you just watered them yesterday, they need up potted. That means that it's in such a small, it has such a big root mass in such a small area that when you're watering it, the, the roots are taking on that water so fast it's not leaving any moisture in the pot <clears throat> and it's not good now these things are let's see if i wrote the name on this one no nope. these things are hardy as heck but not not in a greenhouse in the summertime in the greenhouse in the sum i brought those in they were outside i brought them in the greenhouse for the video but when they were in the greenhouse full time they were not growing like that because the heat and the sun knocks them back incredibly a lot um <clears throat> now at the same time that i brought those outside because i knew they needed it they were getting beat up in the greenhouse i now you'll notice i really do favoritize my java jacobas this is in a freaking large pot and it's a white java jacob only this big the the eugenius probably could use a pot like this honestly if i have another one i'll put them into one like this it, it this really didn't need this big of a pot it'll grow into it though i've done this a lot where i outpot my job to cobbles a lot so anyways this white was an experiment moved outside um for all summer so far and it's maintained structure but it has not put on any new growth now this shows me that the Jabba de Cabos prefer to be in the greenhouse for the summer and the winter because this is one that's the exact same age with all this new growth on it looking amazing okay same size pot same age Jabba de Cabo same type of Jabba de Cabo both whites okay the one in the greenhouse did better now I suspect that this is because the greenhouse allows it to be a more controlled environment as far as a high humidity all the time. Um, it also gives it a little bit of a protectant, but I don't really have any problems with animals in my backyard because it's fenced in. So no animals got to this. It was just strictly conditions. This white job de Cabo was outside in those outside conditions and it was not able to put on all that flush new growth. And I think it's because it's a little bit harsher outside. In the greenhouse, everything gets watered daily. When it was outside, it got watered daily too. But the thing is, when everything gets watered daily in the greenhouse, the whole greenhouse, its humidity levels rise. And it's able to keep that moisture in because it's like its own ecosystem in here. So the moisture comes up, hits this top, and then, you know, slowly disperses down. You get drip, drip, drips. Like it's raining in here for hours after you water. And it's a more controlled environment. So based off that experiment alone, I'm going to go ahead and say Job de Cabo's in zone 7B. Now, let's keep that in mind. This is not just <clears throat> every single, this is not just like a hard and fast rule. It'd be Jabba de Cabo's in zone 7B. Prefer to be in a greenhouse all year round because it leaves them in a more humidity rich environment, something that's probably gonna replicate their natural environment much better. Okay, now in Florida, it's 
a toss up. You could really burn stuff up in a greenhouse in Florida. You can burn stuff out in Zone Seven B. <clears throat> you could burn stuff up in a greenhouse too here. In fact, I did before I knew keep everything low and it's fine. But uh, yeah, so unlike the Eugenius, uh, Eugenia Paulistas, which uh, preferred to be outside for the summer. Um, put on a lot, they put on a lot of growth from their outside. They love the full sun, but what they don't like is the full sun that's too hot. So when it's full sun, but it's baking them, it's like 90 some degrees, it's just too much uh, for them. So honestly, I need to pot these two guys. I'm trying to think like, I mean, what you got to be careful of is you're up potting when you're up potting all these tropicals and you say oh this probably needs to go in a three gallon a three gallon pot's going to take up a lot bigger footprint than this pot when i go to jam them all into the greenhouse this pot does not take up a footprint much at all like i could stick this you know on the edge i could stick it on a shelf but the plant itself is getting so tall it can't even fit on the shelf so it's going to have to come into this pot the spot's going to take up way bigger footprint in the greenhouse. I mean, way b Whoops. It's going to take up a way bigger footprint. And I'm already going to be struggling to fit all this stuff in here. It's going to be packed like a sardine can of plants in a greenhouse. So, you know, but you got to do what you got to do. You can't just leave your plants. Now, if this was bonsai, I'd be looking good for another couple years. I'd leave it in here. You can train a bonsai in a regular pot like this. What I'd do is I would just cut this in half, cut this like right here, all the way around with the razor blade. And then I wouldn't do nothing. I'd stick it outside and just let that, the top of that soil and everything kind of um, wash away, expose some roots, and it would turn into a really cool bonsai tree. But this is not grown for bonsai. This is grown for fruit. So we're going for ideal conditions on it. Doesn't really smell like anything. Some, well, it's mostly, mostly uh, I noticed my citrus trees, their, their leaves smell amazing. Anything citrus, the leaves on it just smell so good. Uh, so yeah, that's just a couple of tidbits of updates, advice, and results for recent summertime experience with Java de Cabos. Obviously, obviously my Java de Cabos are uh, favoritized uh, in my network of plants and they're always up potted more and just more taken care of, but I do love my Eugenias as well, you know, they're all, they're all connected. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be up potting those soon. I have some videos. Maybe I'll do a video while I up pot them. See what that root structure looks like. I bet it's interesting. So thanks for watching everyone. Have a great night or day. I'm so not used to doing a daytime video. It's crazy. <laughs> Feels weird. All right. Take care guys. Please subscribe for more plant content experiments and info. Thank you. Bye-bye.